pair is one more worthy launch title. This time it's for the PS4. It's Killzone Shadowfall. The war between the Vectans and the Hellgast ended in seconds. They call it the Terracide. We have another launch title that had me interested in Next Gen before release date. I'll be honest, there were very few launch titles that made me want to run out and pick up a PS4 or Xbox One. And long after I got them, I was still playing mostly on my Wii U. But Killzone Shadowfall always had my attention. It was one of the first games I saw previewed for the PS4 and, though I'm no Killzone fan, I did want it. I'm gonna look out for you. I need you to do the same for me, okay? Happening 30 years after Killzone 3, we step in the shoes of a Shadow Marshal named Lucas Kellen. The game starts out with Lucas as a kid trying to flee his homeland vector with his dad who unfortunately didn't make it. No! His dad met an unfortunate end at the hand of the Hellgast. Come on. Lucas was then adopted and joined the fight against Hellgast. Along the way, Lucas meets upon Echo, a Hellgast operative who is looking to end this war between Vector and Hellgan. The story starts out, in my opinion, a bit disjointed, but eventually comes together well as the game progressed. Not saying this is a great story, but thankfully for us gamers, even a mediocre, generic story can be entertaining through the interactivity of video games. The graphics in Killzone Shadowfall receive the same praises as Dead Rising 3. Although a launch title, and I know there is much better here, now, and on the way, these visuals are great, not were, as they still are, even in multiplayer. The devices you have at your disposal during the campaign are quite interesting and helpful for the most part. Other than your small arsenal of weapons, you have a companion called the Owl. The Owl works kind of like your guardian. It can provide you with a shield, a rappel, healing and also has offensive capabilities. The difficulty in Shadowfall can get a bit overpowering at times, so this companion does come in handy. A lot. You can also use something called Tactical Echo, which will scan the area ahead of you. Great way to detect the enemy first. Still on gameplay, you can run and reload. You know I'm always about this, so yeah, good times. The checkpoints in Shadowfall are generously distributed, so you'll never end up too far back from where you fell. And like I said, the difficulty level is up there, so you'll grow to appreciate this. The touchpad integration works well. Real convenient for directing the owl. The whole PS4 touchpad thing never really interested me, but I'll have to say this. This is well done. Much more useful than 6-axis. In areas of Shadowfall, you'll find the need to use stealth. The stealth kills are entertaining, but unfortunately, because of the slightly clunky way in which this game was designed, you never quite feel like that ninja you should be. But when it works, it works. The multiplayer in Killzone was done well enough. I say enough because there is room for improvement. One being a real hardcore mode, like the ones in Call of Duty. Apparently, only Call of Duty gets that right. Yes, increased bullet damage. And that's why no matter how generic Call of Duty gets, I'll always play it. We'll get deeper into the multiplayer in a future lobby. Just know for now, it gets a thumbs up. The usual suspects are there, the team deathmatch, etc. Even the DLC that adds co-op to the mix. A few of the bad things about Shadowfall. First, for some reason you can't swim. Now, don't tell me it's because of the weight of your suit. Nonsense. At this point of technological advancement, way into the distant future, you should be able to swim in whatever combat outfit you're wearing. Next is the cover system. Killzone never quite got this right. It's clumsy to say the least. I appreciate the Owl's ability to provide some cover, but in Shadowfall, other than the fact that you can't go prone, Lucas needs to learn that if he could just lower his head a few more inches behind cover, he'd live a whole lot longer. 
Yeah, I really hate Killzone's cover system mechanics, but they seem to be real proud of it as it's been like this for some time now. The last thing that bugs me about Killzone Shadowfall are unclear objectives. I mean, yeah, you do see what you should do, but how to get it done sometimes is a really unclear part. It kind of feels like the devs just threw me into the deep end and shouted swim fool swim. There are objective markers and whatnot, but still something off about it. You disgust me. Killzone Shadowfall however is a great game, flaws and all, but with the additional DLC like the co-op DLC and a few other bells and whistles, Killzone still gets in my good books. I give it an 8 out of 10. Let this serve as a lesson to us all, that we are answerable for our actions. We must live with their consequences, good or bad. Yeah.